Hi guys! Hi! We wanted to bring you a different video today. We haven't done a vlog because we did Vlogmas and uh, we're all vlogged out if we're honest. So we thought that we would bring you, it's rather than a, what we got for Christmas. Yeah, so we do a challenge, don't we, every year? Yeah. And this year was no different. We have a, a low budget challenge, so we have to spend a pound on each item or less. And this year we had to spell out our surname, Landa Shafiq. So a pound item for L, a pound item for A, and so on. So we wanted to show you what we uh, came up with. Yeah. Obviously, we never expect that they're going to be amazing yeah. gifts because we, it's a maximum of twelve pounds. Yeah. And a for pound, twelve gifts. For twelve gifts. So. Yeah. But we have to try our best. It has to be something that we would use or like. It can't just be twelve random things. No. That it's got to be. There's got to be some thought behind each one. So last year we did ten items for ten pounds. Mm. Um, so it's similar this year, but this year we had to make it a little bit hard. Yeah, <laughs> and I think we, I mean, we haven't come up with anything for next year yet. But I think some recommendations after yeah, this would be that'd good. Yeah, that'd be great. Anyway, anyway, so let's let's show you what we got. Yeah, let's show you what we got. Um, so we'll both start with our letter L's. And Claire bought for me a lip balm from Primark with the letter L. So Leah bought me some lavender um, soap. What do you do with them? Just put them in the bath? Yeah, lavender soap. So lavender soap. Um, obviously it begins with L and lavender is a running theme that we have. We had lavender bouquets at our, our wedding, dried lavender. Yeah. And we always call Rupert Rupert lavender. Mm. So that was quite sweet because obviously that's a little... It meant something. A private joke sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, so that's cute. Yeah, like that. So L, A. So A, my first, we have, there's two A's in our setting. So the first A was a notebook and pen, but it says, my awesome ideas. And it's a little night notebook um, lined, which is good. And a lovely, lovely pen. I really love the colours of these as well. So this is useful. And Leah got me, I'll open it up actually with some more. I opened it. A art book. So you know the adult colouring therapy book. Yeah, so that's cute. I love anything like this. And it's really nice. I love the fact that it's paper rather than gloss. I love sort of more rustic things. So that's I love that. I really do. So I'll Aww. have hours of fun in front of the TV colouring in if the kids don't get it first. Yeah, no, they won't. <laughs> they won't. Uh, N for me was, I thought this was quite good, a um, nail polish organiser and we have quite a few nail polishes but we thought we might do um, every month because Claire knows that I like to switch out my makeup so um, every month they sort of put in the top nail polishes for that month or every two months and that's what we'll use because we both paint our nails don't we? Um, and we both enjoy doing that, so that will be put on the top shelf. So I love that. Mm -hmm. And Leah got me a notebook, and it is rose gold. I've got an obsession with rose gold at the minute, haven't I? So to find a rose gold notebook, and it's tiny, and I love that it's not white pages, it's more cream, old fashioned, again, a bit more rustic. Mm. So I love that. I, I, I much prefer like a yellowy page than white. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, so a rose gold notebook, which is lovely. So for D, uh, oh, this is a good one as well, and similar to yours actually. Um, this is a diary, and um, I start my new job next year, and this is going to be so useful. I prefer a paper diary. I'm really rubbish at um, sort of electronic diaries. So this will be fantastic. It's got the lovely cream pages, and I really like the layout of this. And it's just nice. It's a black diary, so it's going to look professional for the new job. It's, it's for next year, not for this year, so that's good. Um, it's great. I really like it. Thank you. You're welcome. Really good one. And Leah got me a document holder. So you could use it for anything, a makeup bag or documents as it's supposed to be. Um, so that's really cute because I, I have... I hate it when I've got I do bullet journal in and I've got a diary as well but I hate it when they get marks on them so this will be really cute to keep them in in my bag so they don't get marked and bashed about so that's lovely and it's nice colours and again a rose gold zip <laughs> <laughs> E for me was an eyebrow setting gel fixing gel from Primark I've used this before I really really like it it's got a nice um, brush on the tip brush on the tip brush on the end but yeah a nice eyebrow fixing gel and that and you know me you know i can't wear colored ones so mm. it's good well done thank you 
E for me is a bit soggy because Rupert has just had his mouth around it. Um, but they don't fit me anyway. And it was some earmuffs. Um, yeah, look where they come to. My ear. It, oh, they're so, so soggy. I wonder if they're supposed to go on that way. They fit Maybe. that way. Oh, they're so soggy and gross, but <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, so yeah, some earmuffs. I think we might just use them as a decoration next year. I can't see that I'm going to wear them. I think you might have struggled with a. I did a bit. Mm. So for R for the last one, and it was rose gold, bizarrely, and it's a rose gold, um, what's it called, Claire? Mirror. Mirror. Compact mirror. Compact mirror. I won't blind you with it, but you can sort of see there what it is. Double-sided. I think one's a, yeah, one, this top one is magnified, and this one is normal. So really love that. I love compact mirrors, and I, I they're so useful. Mm. So brilliant. Thank you. And they got me a reindeer mug. We love our mugs in this house, don't we? Our cups and our mugs. And this one's really cute. So I now have a Christmas mug. It's got a little snowflake on the back lot, if you can see. But yeah, that's a really cute reindeer mug. And for my S, I got, this is quite good actually, because I didn't know they were going to work, but I've got one in my hair. Snag free hair bubbles. I, couldn't remember I kind of name. cheated a bit with that because obviously bubbles begin to be. And I was like, how can I make it fit in with S? I, I want to get you them. So snag free. They're really good as well. They're like a stretchy coil. And um, these ones aren't the plastic ones. I don't know if that would work in my hair or not, but these are really good. I think these are from Primark as well, yeah. aren't they? And I got, it's open, I think from being wrapped, but it won't, it's fine because I'll be eating it soon. A Santa. I love these kind of chocolates, like an Easter egg, basically. Mm. I just love thin chocolate, so I will... I could probably eat that in two mouthfuls. Yeah. No. Easy. Two mouthfuls. Easy. Is this a challenge? Yeah. I can do that. I, I could do it in could one. I could do it in if no. I squash, If I squash that down, I could get that in one. For definite. You're so funny. This will be the 20 what's it bag of what's it challenge all over again. No, but that again. one's easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going to try this now? Do you want me to? Yeah, go on, on camera. To eat the Santa. Go on, two bites, she bites. said. <laughs> Can I do it off camera and then just show you what's left? Or do it, we actually do it on camera? Just do it. <laughs> But you're not going to eat that in two bites, are you? Mm -hmm. You're not. There's no way. Claire, have you seen the size of that? You're choking it. It's bad for you. You can't. No! Ah! <laughs> Let's stop. So you don't choke. I'm sorry, you should choke on it. <laughs> just be careful. I can't believe you just ate that in two bites. I was going to I mean, you did push it in. But you did it. Don't, don't talk now. Now. <clears throat> no. <laughs> <laughs> Told you I could do it. <laughs> you seem really smug with yourself. So for H, I got a hand cream, and it is an orange and orange wait orange tree hand lotion. And what smell are you? Orange blossom and neroli with honey extract. It smells quite nice actually, very nice. Do you want to smell? Oh, it's nice. It smells really nice. So, oh, it feels really nice. Good. Nice hand cream just for my handbag or even for my desk at work. It's always good to have one on the desk because I will have a desk now, so that's <laughs> going to be fun. And I got a hand warmer and it's so cute. Look, the knitted theme. So that's really cute. And what are we on? A. a. Oh, A for both of us was the better present, wasn't it? Yeah. So, I think, <clears throat> I think when it comes to thoughtfulness, Claire surpasses. 
my expectations every Aww. time. The main thing, the one thing, because, you know, if I could forgo everything in someone, but the one thing that I really wanted was thoughtfulness. And you have that in spades. How lucky and... were you then to get everything that I am? <laughs> As well as, as, well as thoughtfulness. <laughs> That's Gosh. why I married you. I had to snap you up really quickly. But what Claire got, and I think this is, and for anybody watching this, this is brilliant. If you're married or have a partner and you've had a very special um, moment in your life, um, Claire got in touch with, so at our, um, and there were a couple of you that may have been at our reception, and we had like an afternoon tea party didn't we but yeah. outside like a picnic mm -hmm. and we invited somebody um and he is a um acoustic singer he just sings with his guitar he has his own equipment mm. his name's rob simpson if anybody ever needs anybody yeah to sing is is brilliant yeah absolutely brilliant. Do everything. and the nicest man like I absolutely love it. Yeah, he's, he's so great. You, I was marrying him. <laughs> Although his wife, wife and children might <laughs> yeah. have something to say about that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but basically, he um, he sang there and he did lots of covers and he was really well um, received. Claire got in touch with him and asked him, "Did you ask him to record it or just ask, or I if you had a recording?" I, I said to him, "Do you create your own CDs? Like, do you do you have that?" And he said no, but he does have a friend with a recording studio. And I asked him if possible, if he could record some of the songs that he sang at our wedding. So I wanted to give it for Christmas. So yeah, he, he managed to get 16 songs on the disc. He, he didn't even charge me. That's how nice he is. He wouldn't accept any money at all for it. And I, I was willing to pay for his time, for the CD. Yeah. yeah. He just does it for the love rather than yeah. for financial gain and that really shows up. And it's a tech. This isn't the original because Leah wrecks all originals with when it comes to music. So the original is in our memory box in the case. He put a lovely design on the front. He put a lovely quote in the in the um, inside of it. So I've tried to copy everything he's done, yeah. but just put my own take on it. But yeah, the original's in our, our wedding memory box. And, the, and it's just one of the most thoughtful gifts. I mean, I had a little tear, but you actually I listened to it on the way you? to work to make sure that it worked because Rob said, oh, just check um, that it works on all your CD players before you give it to Leah. So I listened to it on the way to work and just skipped, like listened to a few seconds of each song. And I was bawling. I don't cry. I don't happy cry, but that made me happy cry. I couldn't stop. Oh. So that was really thoughtful. So you... And then Leah listened to me going on and on about how much I loved Ally McBeal growing up and I was addicted to watching all the Ally McBeal pro shows, um, pro, pro shows, programs, shows. <laughs> um, and you asked your mum to get me the box set for Christmas because I'm always looking on um, Sky box sets and it's never there and I'm always disappointed. So I thought that was really lovely. And then Leah got me, I had this years ago and goodness knows where it is, but Leah bought it me again and it's the Ally McBeal soundtrack. Ooga chuck, ooga chuck, ooga chuck, with the dancing baby. So I uh, can't wait to listen to that. That's brilliant. And that yeah. was really thoughtful again because you'd listened to what I'd said and remembered and then asked your mum to get me the box sets, which I love. I can't wait to start watching it and listening. Yeah. So that was the next A. Um, F, I got two items. Um, and again, quite a lot of yours start to get a little bit far-fetched, don't they, at this point? F, I, and K. <laughs> So F is for Flamingo, and we already have a couple of Flamingo tumblers, um, but Claire bought these two Flamingo cups, and these, and this is so funny, but Claire knew the first thing I would say is, oh, these are a good size, and they are. This is the sort of size of glass that I like. And so yeah, I love them though. They're really good. They go with what we currently have. Do love a Flamingo. So they're brilliant, and she said they were cheaper than a pound for this pair, so that's good. 65p. And really, because you can't use two at once, one will be mine, so... That's how I got away with it. Yeah, I think I think obviously well, two sixty five is more than a pound. So yeah, and Leah bought me some bath fizzers, but I love fruity smells. So this smell is this smells so nice. I love fruity smells. <laughs> <laughs> so the next one was I, and I think for both of us it was really hard, wasn't it? Yes. So I got an I O U hand and foot massage pack. Again, she spent a little over than she needed to, but that's okay. I've because got... I spent less on other things. <laughs> like the CD was free, that uh, glass was 65p, so. Fair enough. Um, I've got a hand mask, foot mask, 
um, a face mask and then some buffing exfoliating gloves which I really like the look of actually. And again there's two pairs there yeah. so one will be mine. Okay I like how you bought for yourself as well yeah. in my gifts. Um, but that means I'm going to get some sort of massage soon. Well hand and foot massage. I'm hoping she'll forget about it. No I definitely <laughs> won't because I never get them so this is like top of my list. That's great. And Leah bought me what I thought was ink. Um but it is ink but I thought that's where she was going but she was going with I icons, icons. Um, so some little gel pens which will be really handy for my bullet journaling so I'm going to use them <laughs> that's cute and then finally K I got a cracker because it's got a K in it I struggled oh, oh, no, really I, didn't the only thing I could think of was keyring and I didn't want to get you a keyring because that was too obvious which I did yeah, but there's a story behind yours. Yeah, mine's so, a, there's a reason. Yeah, for I that. struggled with the This hair. is from I don't know what where this is from, but the it's brand the, looks so like it's from so the pound glory. shop near next. Is that pound shop? Poundland. Pound so that will be another one to have when I run out of the other one. And then a little shower gel, which is always good to have a little shower gel. Always when good. we go away. Yeah. So brilliant, thank you. And then Leah brought me a bought me, not brought, a keyring. But it's a little emoji sticky out tongue keyring, which again is thoughtful because when we first started talking three years ago, um, we were, Leah was saying, we were, I don't know how we got onto the subject of emojis. In it fact, it would have been three years ago, about now. About now, yeah. yeah definitely. We started talking first um, of all. And Leah was saying, what a strange little thing that, <laughs> that face is, like, who came up with that? And, and then when I got you a birthday card, I, I did a moon pig one where you could put lots of little pictures on and one of them was a, a smile, a sticky out mm. tongue emoji because of the conversation. So that was really, again, a thoughtful gift. So thank you. That's all right. I don't think you'll use it as a key ring. It's no. more of a keepsake, isn't it? Rupert will probably pay with it. I could still rip it up, Claire. <laughs> you really don't like it, do you? No, I do. I like the sentiment. Good. I will. I'll keep that forever. Brilliant. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below and let us know any recommendations for a challenge for this year, as in 2017's Christmas. I know we're talking about Christmas now after we've just had it, but we like to be prepared, don't we? We do. Um, and give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Yeah. If you are new to the channel, and as this is the London Shafiq channel, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. We've actually got over, I think, or we're nearly at 400 subscribers already. That's really good. That's incredible, that's, isn't it? That's incredible that that many people find us interesting enough to watch. I don't think they do. Bye, guys. Bye. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello. Um, so we, oh, I guess he's, <laughs> as soon as he start a video, Rupert calls up, he must like the word hello. Hello. Take three. Hi guys. Oh, I was just scratching my nose. Oh. Tell me when you're ready. Oh, smell my hand. No. no, I'm not touching him. I can just hear him like. <laughs> um, Look at him there. <laughs> <laughs> he just saw his little nose there. I know. He's got his sweet spot now. Stop calling it a sweet spot, it's disgusting. <laughs> right, okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you can't knock the bench roots. You ready? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? You got the giggles. Um, so that's a joint present, so. Yeah. We? I can't believe he's just done that. Just ignore him. Yeah. He's so naughty. I Take four. Okay. Um, anyway, it's... Oh, I'm going to start again. I can't oh. talk. Should we start again? Let me start oh. again. One more time, I promise. Hi, Hi guys! <laughs> <laughs> Did you do that on purpose? Right, come on now. <laughs> Hi, guys! <laughs> <laughs> you twat. <laughs> right. <laughs> Come on. Okay, I'm gonna. Right, right, right. Uh, right, right, right. Okay. <laughs> put these back down. Right. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. okay. We do that every year. We do some sort of challenge every year, like yeah. a low budget.
Last time, I promise. Okay. Because I know that in some of the ones recently, the Rupert, get down. Down. We didn't make a cup of tea. Oh, oh. You didn't make a cup of tea. Oh. It was your turn. I never have a turn. The <laughs> thing is my turn. Oh. Six minutes we've been filming for. Okay. I'm now crying. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. Um, we. It's <laughs> <laughs> not an interview. Uh, right. Hi. Okay. Shuffle my papers. I'm ready. 